Good morning, folks. Today we'll take a peek at space weather, developments and monitoring it, a new release from Gaia on quasars, and an excellent study out on the impact of Earth's magnetic field on human health. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star. It was certainly a calmer day despite all the same risks remaining and heading into today. That southern coronal hole will have its solar wind arrive on Sunday, and as it faces Earth here, the earthquake watch building over the last 24 hours is now set in for the next three days. That small CME we were waiting for impacted overnight, and it was extremely weak indeed, causing minor reverberations of Earth's magnetic field, and will continue through the magnetic wake of that today. Looking at the sunspots, there are quite a few on the Earth-facing half right now. Complexity is minor to modest in these active regions. An interesting interhemispheric connection of the fields can be seen between the two large active regions incoming. Those would be the yellow arcs connecting the groups across the equator here, which is something we don't see in the groups at the limb on the left, whose umbral fields are confined to themselves. We're at moderate flare watch levels today. Quick note on the development of geomagnetic monitoring in Mexico. The current capabilities are quite low, but they do plan to implement a new system to better monitor Earth's magnetic field and space weather across the country, seeing more of this focus across the world. Up next, a new mapping of quasars from Gaia. It is the most complete survey so far of the ones visible from here. Quasars are the massive energetic nuclei of active galaxies with the central jet on and running hot. This subfield of astronomy has important dynamic implications on astrophysics, galactic physics, and much more. Gaia and other new space surveys are keen to nail down these cosmic lighthouses in more detail. Our top story today hits the Earth's magnetic field and human health, specifically cardiovascular and kidney disease. With the overall Earth's field weakening in the ongoing magnetic pole shift and the space weather impacts to it producing a stronger resonance when they occur, the swings between active and quiet periods is growing, which presents different biophysical responses at both ends of the scale. They hit those ends of the scale in terms of the heart and the kidneys in this one, and it is just one more way the geomagnetic excursion is affecting and will continue to impact the biosphere. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.